Hello wrestling fans, The Wrestling Wizard here and welcome to another video. Now today's video is a good old fashioned Bray Wyatt theory video. Now I feel like it's been a minute since we've done one of these, but it's probably due to the fact that we haven't actually seen Bray Wyatt on our WWE television screens for over a couple of months. At the same time, we haven't seen Alexa Bliss since the Royal Rumble. And we haven't even seen Uncle Howdy. So if you're fans of these acts, you're probably getting withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> because you haven't seen them that long. Now, it's easy as WWE fans to treat these superstars like robots. We want them back when we want. We want them to just show up out of nowhere on our favorite shows. And it doesn't really work like that. This, you've got to remember that these superstars are human beings at the end of the day. They have real issues going on in their life, real emotions, and they probably get hurt by a lot of the comments, a lot of the negative comments about themselves. And at the end of the day, all we know is Bray Wyatt is dealing with a physical issue, and that's why we've not seen him, and that's personal to him. And Lexi Cabrera, Lexa Bliss, had a cancer scare for crying out loud. So if she's not ready to come back psychologically, if Bray's not ready to come back psychologically, even when he's physically healed, we've got to respect that. So if neither of them are part of the WWE draft, we can't kick off, throw our toys at the pram and have a tantrum because we've got to respect their decision to come back when they're ready. I hope that makes sense. I, I thought I'd get that out of the way before we create the theories of what we would like to see. Now, in terms of the issue, I truly believe it's that knee. Because if you remember the Mountain Dew pitch black match, against LA Knight at the Royal Rumble. He had this like, it was a point uh, up on the barricade bit where he sort of had a bit of a slip. Maybe, just maybe, he aggravated an injury that was already there and then it become more serious and therefore that was what was sidelining him. He was supposed to have a match with Bobby Lashley and he couldn't play that match out. Therefore, they didn't want to ruin the storyline and they give him time to heal, give him time to get better and come back when he's ready. So, I think that's where it was going. There may have been some creative differences, but I think the story was pretty much set that we were going to see the return of The Fiend. There were too many teases. I mean, why are you going to return the Firefly Funhouse, have the Jack in the Box, Alexa Bliss has vanished all of a sudden, you know, Uncle Howdy's taken control of Alexa Bliss and he's in charge. Whether it was a reunion between Alexa and Bray, I, I certainly feel The Fiend was a big part of this. And WrestleMania would have been one of the best places to return that act. And if they felt after that that maybe they'd have to wait a bit longer to return him at the right time, we've got to respect that. Which is why I truly believe that Alexa Bliss and potentially even Uncle Howdy will be part of the WWE draft. But Bray Wyatt may not be. I think if you return Bray Wyatt right now as part of the WWE draft, it kind of overshadows the draft in general, because there's already going to be major changes. The fact that Triple H has revealed only just this Monday a new WWE World Heavyweight title, which is going to be up for grabs in Night of Champions. There's so much going on. I don't know whether it would be great to return Bray Wyatt as part of the draft, to have him just show up on either Raw or SmackDown, depending on where he goes. I think you could return Alexa Bliss you establish what brand she's on, whether she remains part of Raw or she goes to SmackDown. We could potentially see some Uncle Howdy Alexa Bliss shenanigans play out over a few weeks. And then you return Bray Wyatt, if of course he's ready. And I'd like to see him show up on the brand that he's going to be. And yes, I believe WWE know which brand he's going to be on. I personally want to see him on Raw. That's just my personal opinion. The longer format, I've mentioned this in previous videos, kind of fits a creative cryptic Bray Wyatt and he shows up out of nowhere the lights go out you get that OMG shock moment and this is maybe when the dust is settled after the draft because it's a shock fans are a bit flat because as far as they know Bray's not been part of the draft so they don't know where he's gonna be or if he's gonna return and then he shows up but you must answer the questions that we've got leading into this. What was that character at the Royal Rumble? Who was the man in the mask? Obviously Bray, but what does it mean? Is that Uncle Harper? Is that The Fiend 2.0? I don't believe it's the latter. I think it could potentially be the former. What's going on with Alexa Bliss and Howdy? How does this connect to Bray? Is The Fiend part of this storyline? 
what is going on with Uncle Howdy? Like, we need some form of, like, not an immediate, right, everything revealed in one go, but just some answers that can give us more clarity. We can understand maybe the casual fans can understand this a little bit better. Now, I'd have him on Raw and show up randomly on Raw. Now, where they go from that, I, I don't particularly, as much as I think Bray would look incredible with that new shiny WWE World Heavyweight title, I don't want him rushed into the main event scene just yet. I really don't. But for the moment, I just want a simple, creatively genius, but understandable feud between another superstar, potentially a collective group of superstars. Now, my first round pick in a feud for Bray Wyatt, personally, would be Karrion Cross and Scarlett. I'd like to see Karrion Cross and Scarlett move to Raw, Bray move to Raw, and see that feud unfold. Mainly because it's gonna accelerate Karrion Cross. It's safe to say the booking of Karrion Cross hasn't been that great since his return to WWE, but it was better than his previous stint on the roster, let's just say that. Scarlett is, is, is wrestled a, a couple of times. She can wrestle, you know, she's not the, the greatest in the world, but she can turn it on. She's got that charisma. Her and Cross are just incredible. Like, I, I personally think they've got so much potential on the roster. Cross, allegedly behind the scenes, wants to work with Bray Wyatt. So that would be like a dream feud with him. And it'd be a great feud for Bray Wyatt. And at the same time, you could have Alexa and Bray if you're going to go down that route. We still don't know if this has been established as a revengeful reunion arc against Cross and Scarlet. And you could play that out over several months. Imagine the promos. Like, it's not going to hurt either all. And in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter who loses. I mean, Cross has been losing most of his matches week after week anyway. But I don't think it would harm him losing to, to Bray. It didn't harm LA Knight. Look how he's come out the other side in the feud with Bray Wyatt. You could even reignite that if LA Knight came to Raw and Bray came to Raw. Or they were both kept on SmackDown. Of course, at the same time, WWE might want to revisit the Bray Wyatt, Bobby Lashley angle. That didn't even get a chance to get started. Of course, Bray getting removed from WrestleMania due to the physical issue and Bobby Lashley getting taken off the card completely. Now, of course, at the moment, Lashley's in a match at Backlash for the United States title against Austin Fury, the champ, and Bronson Reed. But how do things play out after that? Do we get a matchup in a one-on-one -on -one matchup maybe between Bronson Reed and Bobby Lashley? And that's where you insert Bray Wyatt potentially and you continue that. Of course, the other question, what was the actual plan for WrestleMania originally? Now, originally, I'm sure it was supposed to be Brock versus Bray. Brock didn't want to work with Bray. They had to pivot and it was Bobby. But what was supposed to play out with Bobby? It seemed a bit rushed. It, in my opinion, it seemed a bit out there. I think they were banking on it being Brock. I think there was still some creative disagreements behind the scenes. But again, that's just speculation. That's just a, a personal opinion. That's not fact. You know, we're not doing a clickbait YouTube channel and say Bray Wyatt has been released or something ridiculous like that. Like, it's just opinion. It's always opinion amongst us, the fans, because we see what we want to see, right? Now, help me out. Get down in the comments section. Share your thoughts and opinions. Who do you want to see Bray Wyatt feud with? How do you think they're going to return him? And more importantly, what brand is he going to be on? And how is this going to tie in with Alexa Bliss and Uncle Howdy? We'll have to wait and see. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. It'd be very much appreciated if you could like the video, share the video, and even better, subscribe if you're new. And we'll catch you in the next one.